Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I so enjoyed doing a spring top pieces essential wardrobe and I know that you guys quite liked it too and you did ask for a summer edition so that's what I'm doing today. I've collected all of my pieces, this is the things that I bring out year after year or I've invested in this year and these are more of the essential basics. They're not towards the holiday, so they're not the bikinis, the caftan, the beach bags. That's something that I'm thinking of doing in another video. This is more the everyday basics, so let's just get straight in. So of course, you guys will know it wouldn't be a summer wardrobe without a white dress for me, and I've really featured these kind of eyelets, really super summery dresses. This one you guys will probably have seen from my lookbook video and also one of my hauls, I'll link them both below. It's on the affordable side, I believe it was under 40 pounds or around 40 pounds from ASOS. It's a really fun dress, fits beautifully, love the long sleeve. And then I've also bought a, another option, which is more on the high end, which is this one from Karen Millen. This one's one that you can dress up a little bit more, wear it with heels, wear it in the evening, to a smarter kind of garden party type thing, whereas this one's more every day to day. Both of them I get so much wear out of. I've only picked them up this season, but already worn them so much. White is just that essential, I feel, in your wardrobe for the summer. And next up, everything for me with summer is a little bit loose fitting. I feel like as it gets hot, I don't want things clinging to me. I want to be flowy and comfortable, and it's a t-shirt, so really basic, two basic colors. Both of these I did pick up last year. This first one is from the White Company, and it's got the little peplum detail. Just easy, just a white t-shirt, I mean, you can't get any more simple than that. I do wear this one mostly with jeans, however, this cuts in perfectly to wear it with skirts and stuff as well. And then I also put in this option, which looks rather long, I picked this up from Anthropology, but I tie it in a knot, kind of makes it a little bit more sporty and younger, but this one, I have to say, last year I wore it so much, I actually wore it on the beach. Uh, I said that I wasn't gonna do cover-ups, but I wore it on the beach as a bit more of a cover-up and just chucked it on. You know that t-shirt that's just soft and easy and flowy? And because you can tie it up, you can wear it with so many different things. You can wear it if you're wanting a day where you're wearing leggings and you wanna cover everything up, or if you are wearing something more high-waisted, then you can tie it there. So, so many options with those two. My next essential would be a cami top. Now, I've actually picked out two white, but I usually would have different colors. Loads of cami tops, so I feel like you can never have too many. First off, I have this one from Reese from last year. This is definitely more of a occasion top, so wear it in the evenings with a skirt or some trousers, dress things up. You can wear it in the day, perhaps to meetings or to work. It's a lovely material. I love the button detail, all the gold buttons down the back, and it's perfect to just tuck in and go take it on holiday. I wear this one. I mean, I don't think you can go wrong with white camis. I just feel like they're a real basic in the wardrobe. And then I also have this one, which I picked up recently from Mint Velvet, which is more your everyday. I love the bow detail at the top and the polka dots. And this is one also that you can dress up and dress down. The material is this gorgeous, like it's almost got like a sheen to it, so it looks okay for an evening. Again, you can wear it tucked in or tucked out with lovely skirts or a denim skirt I picked in here or even shorts. So yeah, really basic for the wardrobe. Up next would be a flowy print dress. So as much as I love white and plain and classic and chic, I feel like summer is just that time for a flowy print dress. Again, I've got two here. One maxi, which I picked up recently. This is just so gorgeous. This is probably a really lovely holiday piece, but you can also wear it here in the UK. I just pair this with my espadrille wedges, a lovely straw bag. It's got a really pretty silver thread running all the way through it. Again, because of these tassels, I feel like you could wear it quite casually with some sandals or dress it up, put a lovely clutch with it. Be lovely for evenings on holiday, going to dinner, but equally just wearing this day to day in the UK. And then this one is my investment from last year. I picked this one up from Anthropology, and I wore it. <laughs> I wore it pretty much every day. This was an item that I didn't want to take off. Just 
I just felt so good in it because it's flowy and it's not shy. It's lovely in the hot weather. If I was sitting on the grass, I can cross my legs and nobody can see anything because because of the flowiness, it kind of hides anything that you want to hide. Really beautifully done. I was hoping that they'd bring out something similar this year. I haven't actually checked yet, so I'll let you guys know if they have. Then on to trousers. Now trousers are probably the thing that I struggle the most with in my wardrobe. I just find it really hard to pick out ones that suit me, that don't make me look large or my bum look big, you know, the typical girly things. Um, but summer, again, I'm going with all the loose fitting things and loose fitting trousers. So first up are a smarter pair. I got these off of ASOS uh, quite recently actually, when they had their 20% off sale. And they're this gorgeous kind of cream colour, but again they've got this silver thread running through. So these would be perfect for the evening. They're a culotte style, so they're quite a short culotte style. I believe that they come up quite a bit above the ankle, but you could dress these up with heels or dress them down, wear them day to day, going to work, that kind of thing. And then my next pair are definitely more casual. These I've had in my wardrobe for a long, long time. I feel like maybe even five years plus, I mean a long time. Um, but they are, again, those basics. The kind of khaki. I wear these for on the aeroplane. I wear these around the house, chilling. I wear them in the garden, <laughs> relaxing, going to the supermarket. I guess they're more of a casual, but actually this kind of style looks really nice as well with some wedges and a bit more of a smarter top. You can definitely dress them up, especially if you're feeling a little bit bloated and like you want to be comfortable for your date night. I think, yeah, these were from Gap, so... I'm sure that they will still do the same kind of style, if not these kind of khaki trousers are around everywhere still. Keeping on bottoms for skirts, I've kind of gone to the two opposite ends. So I've got my kind of evening, really pretty, really feminine skirt, which is a gorgeous pleated mini skirt. This one I picked up from Whistles, and you'll have seen it if you watch my uh, higher end occasion dresses. It is the most gorgeous skirt. Lilac and purple is so in this year and this print is just gorgeous. It's not too over the top. I feel like it's just enough print, but because it's still in the same colors, it makes it quite easy to pair with things. Again, this could go so simply with just my white tee tucked in or dress it up a little bit more with this little blouse and wear it with some heels for an evening. So versatile and really comfy and just beautiful for the hot weather. And then for more casual, I went for a denim skirt. This is something that I go to pick from my wardrobe all of the time in the summer. This one I picked up in Topshop. It's a lovely light colour. It's not too short, but it's still kind of young and fun. I pair this with just so much stuff, to be honest. It's obviously not an evening and it's not for an occasion. I wouldn't wear this to work. It's more of a weekend skirt for me more of a chilled kind of t-shirt weekend day. And then probably the most out of all of these pieces in my wardrobe, the jumpsuit or play suit is the one that I only wear in the summer. This is literally just a one-off summer item for me. I don't know why I find them hard to wear in the winter or any other time. So summer, I make the most of wearing jumpsuits and play suits. And this is one that I picked up this year. Whistles actually, I've got quite a few jumpsuits from them. I feel like they do just really good jumpsuits year after year, really flattering, fit is beautiful. This is a classic navy linen one. I just love how it fits around the waist, the v-neck and the tie. Really classic, really elegant. The trousers are kind of Colette style as they come up quite high and baggy, but it's just super comfortable, but also looks really chic. I've been wearing it with sandals during the day, even trainers, just chucking it on with a jacket and then wearing it with heels, putting some really statement earrings on in the evening, so another super versatile piece. Then the last clothing item would be a really super lightweight jacket, which is also light in colour. Now this is probably one of my favourite pieces from this season and it's this blazer from Mint Velvet. It just looks so gorgeous on, really effortless and chic. It's quite oversized, but the material is, it's got a little sheen to it, so you can, again, dress it up right in the evening or wear it with a lovely crisp white t-shirt and just some jeans. 
really really beautiful piece i have been wearing this one so much mostly the cut and the feel to it is just gorgeous but any kind of lightweight light colored jacket perfect for this time of year now we're on to accessories i've got bags shoes and a hat so I picked this one because I feel like it's not just a holiday hat. I would wear this one in the UK. It's the kind of hat that you don't mind wearing on the aeroplane in the UK until you get to your destination. It's not too big and floofy and over the top and just for the beach. It's super classic. I actually picked this one up um, for Ollie, my partner in J Crew, but I wear it all of the time. It is bent, uh, it needs a bit of an iron out actually because it has been worn so much and it's very well loved. But it is just so classic and I love that you can wear it not just abroad but in the UK as well. For bags I had to go with straw. It's such a big trend this year and year after year I've always loved straw bags. You guys will have seen most of these if you're not new to this channel. Firstly, this one from Urban Outfitters. I love the length of it, how you can wear it cross body because I wear a lot of my bags cross body. It does actually fit a lot in and it's a lot more practical than I thought it would be. And then the other two, I believe that I put this little white one in a haul. It's from Topshop. I love the like crochet kind of feel of it. Goes lovely with so many outfits, just holding it by the hand, although probably not that practical holding it by hand. And same with this one. Picked this one up last year and I just I just love how almost rustic looking it is. It feels like a really sturdy, rustic kind of straw bag. Love the circular and the pom-poms add a really sweet detail. It's definitely more of a summer day, not such a London piece, but more kind of in the countryside. Then I had to pop one more bag in and it is just my trusty Gucci Soho bag. This one isn't just for summer, I wear it honestly day in, day out. But I particularly love it in the summer because of its colour. It goes with all of my sandals and shoes, which I'll show you in a minute. And it is perfect for the kind of city breaks or going away for the weekend because it's light, you don't put too much in it, but you can carry everything you need, your phone, your purse. So yeah, I mean, it is a real investment piece, but I cannot tell you guys how much I've worn this one. Now, and to shoes, glorious shoes, I'm gonna start with the ones which I know you guys love the most. And that is these, my trusty Aspergils. I get so many questions about these. You can get loads of really affordable pairs, but these actually were semi on the expensive side. I think they were 60 to 80 pounds, somewhere around there. They're from a brand, Castana, and I got them on Netta Porter. What I love about these is the color of them. They're not white, but they're like this lovely pinky nude color. They go with absolutely everything. They are super, super comfortable. When I first, when the trend first came out, I wondered how comfortable they would be, but they really are. I walk miles in them when we were in France. I walked and walked in these up hills and everything. So a real staple piece, um, especially if you're going on holiday. Next would be a really practical sandal. Now I say practical because I've got quite a few sandals and other pieces, but I feel like in the summer you're usually doing a lot of walking, the weather's good, so you're outside and Sandals aren't always comfortable. I picked these up in June, just a few weeks ago, and wear them so much. I'm not sure if you guys can tell, but they've got a super padded bottom, and they are strapped onto your feet here, so you are good to walk for miles in these, and you really could. I feel like, especially in London, when I'm walking around, my feet can get, by the end of the day, just uncomfortable, whereas they don't in these, so can wear them for hours and really walk in them. Now I'm picking out quite a few pairs of shoes, I know, but I feel like summer is that time where you have quite a few summer occasions, weddings, garden parties, Wimbledon, whatever it is, christenings, there's loads of things going on. You need a little heel. Now these heels are perfect for wearing, not just for occasions. They're not so high, you're strapped in, they're quite comfortable, they're nude, so they'll go with so many things. You'll be able to wear them with your smart white, dress or with any of your other dresses and trousers so it goes with quite a bit and also comfortable again a piece that you can dress up and dress down and then these are something that I included in my spring wardrobe but I wear these right through the summer I've actually updated them thankfully bought a new pair just a few weeks ago because my others were looking rather tatty and these are lovely and shiny and white they are just the super grizz in the leather and I wear these so often, almost every weekend during the spring, 
summer months, so I invest in a pair each year, which might seem a little bit excessive, but I, I wear them out, so I kind of have to. And then last but not least, a pair of sunglasses. I mean, you can't go through summer without sunnies. I do have a good few pairs, but I had to include these. Ollie got me these for my birthday a few years ago. They are Gucci, and they are my real summer sunglasses. I think because of the pink, and just the way that they look. I feel like they are a summer pair. I wouldn't wear them so much in the autumn and winter, whereas I would my darker ones. Super pretty, love something a little, little bit light and colored for summer. And that is everything for my summer essentials. This is one of my favorite videos to film, I think. I love these essential videos. I really think that wardrobes should be filled with things that you gravitate to and you go to year after year and they're classics which you love wearing. You guys have to let me know which pieces you're going to be adding into your wardrobe and which pieces you think I might be missing or need to add in as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Make sure to subscribe so that you don't miss my holiday edition that I'm going to do in a few weeks. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it and I will see you guys all soon. Bye!